Oh. <laughs> oh. This is the scariest game I've ever seen. Music! <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what are you looking at? Weird. Iconic intro. Hey, thanks, Doo Doo Oven and Venom and A Train Express and Ko John and Drikey. Thank you. And thanks, Zatenka. My pad works. Thankfully. <sighs> Thank you. Excuse me. You've received a level three hype training mode. <laughs> awesome. Imagine inside Ars Kitten. Ars Kitten? Uh, thanks, Slifers. And Thank you. thanks, Zetanka. <laughs> See you in Doggy Puppy. Uh, thanks, Big Old Keith and Guru Desu and Psycho Mosh. Well, I'm gonna go check out the options. Look sensitivity. <laughs> See anything I need to change? Looks good. New game. It's a scary game. You are a gastroenterologist. Enterologist? I think that's the guy who does colonoscopies. Right? That's like an ass man. I'm an ass man. Oh, it explains. Treating diseases of the digestive tract. Colonoscopy, what do you know? The insertion of a <laughs> camera deep into the large intestine via the anus. <sighs> thousands of patients. So I'm an expert. I've done thousands of colonoscopies. Respected among your peers. <laughs> um, nothing phases you? Oh, shit. Like I said. Damn, look. You are the Michael Jordan of gastroenterology. The Michael Jordan. Slamming dunks. Uh, this is your final week. You do not know it yet? What the hell? Oh. Loading. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Treasure? <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. I'm reading. Huh. Gross. Are you reading this? I'll I'll synopsize you when I'm done. Okay, I'll synopsize so far. Uh, this lady was somewhere crossing the border and the border patrol were being dicks, so she got scared that they were gonna steal her wedding ring, so she took it off and swallowed it. 
and it was like a week ago and she hasn't shit it out yet so now she came to see me the michael jordan of ass men to help her retrieve the wedding ring thank you oh i'm trying to tell her that it probably got shit out and you missed it i'm quite sure it has not come out oh my husband Harold has much Harold has much better eyesight than I have and he has done all of the searching. Harold. <laughs> you certainly have a dedicated husband. Oh. I'll give you a moment to get into position. You got it. This game is sp spooky. <laughs> Thank you. We gotta find her wedding ring. Dude, it's in there somewhere. Harold would have. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm hungry. You guys wanna. Let me get a sandwich real quick to play this game. The way it's moving. The way it's moving. Uh, thanks, Mr. Peeper and Chanel Athena and Validus and Drew and Laura Mantis. Thanks, Berserk and Mecha Tengu and Kambu and Goldenheimer. Thanks, Panties and Psycho Mosh and Momo. Thank and also you. true woo. Did you look at the controls? Oh shit. Okay, left stick. Left stick. Left stick will move you. Right stick, camera controls. Can I turn around and look at myself? Uh <laughs> No, the entrance. Legal question mark. No. Uh, thanks, Growling, and Fusilli, Jerry, and True Woo. That's the exit or the entrance? That's how I got here. There is no, uh, exit. There's just an entrance. All right, I'm going in. I don't know what the other buttons are. Whoa, Flusher. Flush objects, dead flesh, or anything else out of the colon with a warm jet of water. <laughs> okay. Cauterizer. Oh. Bleeding colon. Oh. Grabber. Scanner. Paranormal activity. Thank you. I think that's all of them. Okay, I got all my tools of the trade. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna venture Thank forth. You. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Failway and Game of the Rear. Uh, thanks, Shuckle and Salami Tommy. <sighs> Excuse me. Thanks, uh, Nintendo. I'm, I'm going in. <laughs> Thank you. The car is... You can't rush these things. You have to take it slow. Look around. Take it slow. Let me know if you see anything. Which instruments? I already tested that, but thanks. <laughs> Thank you. That's the sprayer. It'll wash things out. To use an instrument. I learned that. Is there like a boost? <laughs> Turbo? Like, a, you know, a sprint? Some kind of like, you know, let me get in there, man. <laughs>
Okay. Okay, we've got some kind of an object. Remember, I'm looking for her wedding ring. Find a way to identify anything that looks suspicious. What do you think that is? You think that's caca? Let me scan it. Oh, here we go. A colon polyp. Cut it out. I gotta cut it out. It's not caca. It's a colon polyp. So, to cut that out, I'm gonna need... The... Yeah, this thing. Now... What are you, just like... Oh! Oh! Stop the bleeding! How do you stop the bleeding? Flusher? Cauterizer. Okay! Flush away the remnants. Uh, flush that shit. Nice. Alright. Perfectly healthy colon. Moving on. I think there's gonna be jump scares. <laughs> I have a feeling. Get off in there, will ya? Hey, thanks, Harold, searching through poo and D Blackjack and Highly Toxic and Mineral and Oinkins and Eco and Deathbird. And thanks, Shuffle and Fail Away. Uh, I assume this is a polyp. You think I should scan this just in case? Thank you. Like I'm, I already know it's a it's a rectal polyp. Yeah. All right. Let me just instead of scanning it, I could just fucking cut that shit out instantly. Now I need to cauterize. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. Oh, I have to flush. I forgot to flush. Uh, you gotta be careful not to accidentally cauterize when you wanna flush. Okay, seems pretty good. Now I'll cut this puppy out. See, I don't need to identify anymore. I'm an expert. Okay, now flush. Okay, all right, moving on. I still haven't found the ring though. The reason I'm in here is because I'm trying to find the ring, the ring of men. Damn, what is this big motherfucker? Nice work, amigo. Looks like we got a big fella in here. That's gonna get in the way of Kaka. I'm gonna need to help this lady out. Oh, maybe I should scan it, just in case it's some alien shit. It's just another big ass colon polyp. Okay, okay, hold on. Ah, shit. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, it's still bleeding? What the hell? Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I got it. Bunghole. <laughs> hey, thanks, just got here. And Slam Duncan, Grandma's Colon. And thanks, Own Dog. And Neo Zeong. And thanks, Dr. Deep in there. And buff dude on a scooter, controlled burn, and everyone. <clears throat> I mean, we gotta be at least like a hundred feet in here. Where's the ring? Oh shit. Boss? Is it time for a boss? Huh? We got deeper? This is level two? Level two? How many levels are in this bitch's ass? I didn't know that one ass would have more than one level. 
You know, I thought level two would be a new ass. But I guess <laughs> we've got levels in one ass. Hold on, let me scan. This is a polyp. I don't need to scan this. I'm a fucking Michael Jordan. What happens if you grab that shit? Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> Cut this shit in half. Okay. Now spray. I just dropped my first mirror. Thanks for the luck. Hey, congrats. Nice work. Hey, damn, what's up with all the generosity today? Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you're all having a good one. Getting lucky. I told you, I've been crop dusting luck all over the city. Uh, thanks, uh, Anagram. And thanks, Pumpkin Pie. And Omega whatever. And thanks, w uh, WTF Cineric and Megan McCaukey Hardigan and Colin Gina. And thanks, uh, Anna Mays and uh, Grenadier Man. Thanks. Thanks, Bring uh, uh, Bang the Magnificent and Superior Cream. Hey, thanks again, Anna Graham. That's nice of you. All the rest of you guys, too. Oh, shit. Is that the boss? looks pretty tough it also doesn't look normal not every ailment can be treated the same way let's scan this anomaly see what we're dealing with here hardened deposit of fat and calcium it should be removed so maybe I gotta grab it Grab it. Hey. Come with me. Oh! Oh! Mamma mia. Oh! you're supposed to do? Mamma mia! Maybe I gotta splash it a little first or something? Use the cauterizer? Ugh. Oh. Gotta blast it. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Maybe now I just wash? Hey, get out of there. Hey, beat it! And don't come back, either. Bitch. Okay. Gross. Mmm. Oh, there's a little piece of that shit right here that's left. Okay. We still haven't found our target. The target is the wedding. Wedding ring. What do you think that is? <laughs> Let me scan it. I don't know what that is. Candy? It wouldn't it would melt. Hard, hard boiled sweet. I guess it is. Why didn't it melt? What the hell? What should I do? Grab it or zap it? <laughs> Thank you. Oh shit. Eat it? It's still good. Uh. Do you think I should like chop it up? Then, then just wash it. Alright. 
Nice. When you wash it, it doesn't mean you're... It's, it's just coming out of her asshole. Okay, we got more activity here. Is that corn? No. Is it corn? There's only one way to find out. Give it a little taste. Thank you. Damn, sweet corn! Alright, well, what do you do? Just wa grab it? <laughs> just wash it? Thank you. Let's just wash it out. Beat it, corn. This is probably not that far from the real thing. I mean, obviously, it's not scary like this, but... How far is it from the real thing? Probably not that far. Damn, how many candies? All he does is eat candies and corn. Where's the ring? You can't just wash this candy. You have to remove it. It's stuck. Let me get my grabber. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gross! <laughs> <laughs> the sound it sounds like a fat guy trying to get out of a car with leather seats uh, thanks Murda and Chebuludo and thanks Konichiwa and fuck <laughs> hey thanks thanks Ziki and Fadian and Parka and Malice Jack hey man thanks happy new year uh, thanks chocolate surprise and uh, Poop Spoon, Thank you. and thanks Firelands, thanks guys, Happy New Year bros, thanks yeah. Titus, Thank Butts, you. and Doppel, uh, that looks like a polyp to me, no need to scan, I'll just cut that shit in half, then you cauterize, <laughs> Thank you. then you wash that shit out, I'm an expert, All right, now I don't know how deep this asshole goes, but I'm gonna find out. Oh, looks like we've gotten to a left turn here. Uh-oh, phase three or a boss or what? Sheesh, I didn't know I'd be a natural at this game. This is stage three, another polyp. We're looking for the ring of men. Thank you. That's a polyp, if I've ever seen one. Got it under control. Okay. Going in deep err. Man, she's got all kinds of these things. Okay. Oh, fuck. I wonder what, like, the restrictions are, or, like, how do you fail? What if I take too long, or, you know, do something wrong? Like, what if I use the chainsaw right now just to fuck around in here? <laughs> you know? It said you get different results at the end? Weird. Oh, these things need to be... Do these things need to be zapped? I forgot. Yes! Okay, okay, now wash that shit out. Yeah, those are calcium and fat... Um, things that are stuck and you gotta wash that shit out damn another candy <laughs> I think candies are my favorite cause you gotta pull them out like this <laughs> I 
Oh man, this is so weird. Could you imagine if I could go back and tell like a young elementary school version of myself that when you're almost 40, this is what you're gonna be doing. Hold on, let me wash this motherfucker out of here. Help this lady out. Okay, and I gotta zap this thing. Okay, oh, we got more corn too. Chicken taquitos? Man, chicken flautas, if that's what you mean, those are so good. Better than chicken taquitos. Taquitos are usually made with um, corn tortillas, which are good, but I like flautas, which I think are made with flour. What, you guys don't want to talk about food? I mean, what, you know. <laughs> I'm an ass man. This is everyday shit for me. You know, the funny thing is, we're laughing and we think it's gross, but dude, someone's got to do it. When you think about it, ass men, really, they're like heroes. Because what are you going to do if your ass needs help? You got to go to the ass man. They're like heroes, in a way. Thanks, all you ass men out there. Lifesavers, it's true. Without question, literally. Someone's got to get in there and fucking clear out all this weird-ass shit. Okay, I got some zapping to do. Look at all these blockages. These blockages are probably preventing the ring from escaping. I got this, bros. Hello? Got it. Okay. Gotta get into position to cauterize. Are those teeth? What the fuck? Are those dentures? She swallowed her dentures. Damn. I wonder if that happens. Probably. Cut it. Are those dentures gonna still be good? Maybe I'll retrieve them for her. They're still good. Nice. Okay, now I need some... I got some washing to do. Back it up, back it up. Damn, what the fuck? Back it up, dude. There we go. More. Gotta clean this mess up. Okay. Eat it. Alright. Now we'll see if the teeth move. Maybe you have to wash the teeth out. Is this ranked? Of course. This game only has ranked. Competitive. It's a highly competitive game. And the next eSport. The next big eSport. <laughs> you have to heat it? Why do you gotta heat it up? No way, those dentures are still good. I'll just retrieve them and then pop them right back into her mouth. Okay, got another polyp. Oh, and some more corn.
Oh, what? Didn't I wash you out? You got stuck. Maybe I should pay closer attention. That shit got stuck. Anyway, let me cut this shit. Perfect. Oh, forgot. Try and shoot the corn with the laser? Dude, I don't need to try that. I already know how to treat the situation. I don't need to fucking test shit out on this old lady's asshole. New moves. New techniques. You think it'll make popcorn? No way. Are you serious? No way. No way. If I shoot a laser at the corn, it's gonna pop? Inside of her ass? Alright, let I'll try it out. I'll give it a little try. Okay. I'm moving in deeper. This is stage three of the same asshole. I'm gonna start coming out of her mouth soon. Gross. Uh, thanks, Poob Goo, and Cabin Fever. Thanks, Manny Pants, and Tall Summit, Dark Spaghetti. Thanks, Paul. Hey, there it is! It's the ring! That's what I've been looking for. What the hell is it attached to? The Ring of Men. Uh, let me scan it. Seems to be something holding on to it. Ancient piece of chewing gum. Permanently stuck. Permanently. Uh-oh. Oh, I got the ring. What are we going to do about this chewing gum? It's stuck on there. Okay, let me try shooting it with my laser. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. supposed to do about this cut it around the sh cut it no like around cut a hole in her ass no what are you supposed to leave this in here you're not supposed to leave this in here Chew it? Damn. Um... I don't know. I don't want to leave it. I'm gonna try cutting it out. It's permanent. Do you just wash the ring out? Oh, I won! So I just leave that thing in there? I washed the ring out. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh, man, what a day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I agree. Ugh. Ugh. You went to sleep feeling happy? Okay. It's gonna get scary soon or something? I mean, not that it's not horrifying already. Worms? What's Pika mean? Could not distinguish what was happening inside your large intestine? A condition known as Pika? It's a- I can't read the chat, it's going too fast. <laughs> Thank you. I would eat an eraser? At the end of my pencils? What the fuck? I would eat small bits of paper and plastic food packaging? I began to crave metallic items and I began eating small coins. Paper clips, screws, steel nails? I was hospitalized after I collapsed at work. Surgeons removed 30 objects from my stomach, but there are still objects in my lower bowel which are difficult to remove. Doctors referred me to you. Are you still having these cravings? Dose dietary supplements. All right, no cravings. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I gotta carefully remove the remaining objects inside of her asshole. Wonderful. All right, let me see your butthole. I got this. Uh, thanks, Pizza and Apexi. Thanks, Linky. Hi. And Shogun. And Ancient Gum. Thanks, Sidearm. And Thank Poop you. Goo. And thanks, Mr. Plus. I'm going in. This is a more vibrant asshole than the last one. Uh, nice pigmentation. I'm going in. Oh, don't forget to turn around. You gotta check the entrance slash exit. <laughs> My bad. There's always a little Easter egg. Okay. Damn, this game is fucking gross. Uh, all right, now I'm going in. <laughs> hey, what are you guys eating? I had pasta. Oh, we got an open lesion here. Better co pull out my cutter, plasma cutter. Perfect. There's all kinds of open lesions in here. 
Maybe like you should try your best to go top speed. Even though top speed is not fast, still. Like you just, oh. There's a nail. We got a nail. You think that needs to be pulled out? Probably. Okay, grab that shit. Got it. Ugh. Hold on. Okay. Now I gotta wash the nigga. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's tight. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Dr. AR-15. Holy shit! Jackpot! <laughs> Found some easy money in here. Nice. Treasure. <laughs> nice. Alright. Uh, thanks, anal champion. Oh, uh, we got... Oh, we got all kinds of shit going on in here. Hold on. I'm gonna need my pinchers. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Okay, now we spray. Okay, moving in deeper. I don't know what these things are. What the fuck is this? Scan it? I guess I could. Thin shaving of metal. Remove carefully and stop the bleeding that occurs. Man, I could go for a snack. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. You have to like scroll through your your weapons. You have to scroll through your weapons. You missed a nail? What do you mean you missed a nail? Oh, this? What do you mean you missed a nail? Did I really? On the roof? Oh, shit, you're right. Thanks. Okay. while you're up there. Huh? Thanks, Jeff's colon. Oh. Jeff's colon. Damn, that's the secret bonus stage. You get to meet Kojima's dick in there. Uh, break time, baby girl. <laughs> Baby girl! Pumpkin pie. Baby girl. Hold on, man. I guess I could just pause. You know this game is eerily addictive. That's odd. I didn't expect that. Um, well, it looks like we got some more treasure here. All right, all right, I'll take a break. Hold on, let me just pull out this one last shaved piece of metal that will cause bleeding, all right? Ugh. Honestly though, whoever out there is actually an ass man, man, 
I hope Umbasa blesses you. Someone has to do this job. Someone has to do this job. It's crazy to even think about. But someone needs to go in there. And the thing is, people really do put stuff in their ass. You know, like real people, they go into the doctor's office and say, Listen, doc, I put all this stuff in my ass. You gotta get it. You know? And the doc's like, alright, I'll go get it. Isn't that crazy? Is that stuck? There we go. <laughs> so far flawless. The music is tight. I gotta be cautious how I use the word tight. It's the first game that created an issue like this. I need to wash this thing away. You guys eating sandwiches and whatnot? Hey, enjoy. The revenge of the coin. Oh, I'm gonna try the popcorn technique. I heard that you can make popcorn. Are you making popcorn or did you make that up? No popcorn? Weak. <laughs> I better take a break. This game has given me an appetite. Might grab a snack. Oh shit. We got a paper clip. God, dude. What are you doing eating this stuff? Don't you know it's gonna get stuck in your asshole, dude? Someone ought to slap this lady. I should write my name. Oh! Huh? Perfect. That's what I would do if I was an ass man. Just tag that shit up. Tag up the walls. Eris was here. That's an anus polyp. I know how to handle those. <laughs> Thank you. Where's my washer? There we go. Perfect. Uh, missing a break for some ass? Okay, fine. I'm pausing. Whoa, I'm moving! Why am I moving? Does this game not have a pause? Damn, like a Souls game? It is similar to a Souls game in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm gonna get up and stretch. Alright, we're going in. Oh, I'm already at phase two. This is stage two of this lady's asshole. The last asshole I was in took three stages to beat. Uh, excuse me, okay. 
We got more shaved metallic pieces. These are going to cause rectal bleeding when removed. So I have to quickly cauterize the wound. Rectal bleeding. Oh, wrong tool. Okay. <laughs> nice. Now, you just gotta wash that puppy out of here. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, I, I got legacy skill. Competition's gonna be stiff at nationals, but I think I'll see you in grand finals. Let me zap this hoe. Perfect. Don't forget to wash that puppy out of here. Where'd it go? Aha! Thought I'd forget. In case you're just tuning in, this lady came to see me because she has one of those weird conditions where you eat things that aren't food. She's like a fucking maniac. So she eats metal objects. And, uh... Don't worry, she's on medication now. She doesn't want to eat them anymore. But, I gotta get in that ass and remove all the shit that's stuck in there that she ate. I already wrote my name on the wall. Just so that anyone else who comes in here knows. I've been here. You know what I mean? It's like the moon, actually. USA. Damn. There's a lot of... Oh, shit, dude. These aren't just little thumbtacks anymore. These are like full-blown carpenters. This is nail gun nails. Hold on. Let me spray this coinage out of here. Maybe we could spend these at a shop. <laughs> to unlock MTX. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Hold on. Let me get these. Are these things going to be deep in there? Oh. Damn. Well, I might as well, since I'm here already, let me grab this one and then I'll wash them both. Since I'm going to switch to my washer. Shit, the fucking nails in the way. It's creating sparkage. Okay, okay, we're good. I gotta get into position. Actually, you know what? I think I'll just grab a couple more and do a full-blown washing session when they're all loose. There we go. Ah, don't even hesitate. Oh, fuck, I forgot about the bleeding. Okay, I got it. Now I'll wash this shit down. <laughs> Thank you. God damn. Had a buffet at the Home Depot hardware store. What the fuck, dude? Man, she better she better be paying extra. What the hell? Dude. What? Nah, what happens if they shit? Oh, what if that's like the boss? What if you run into trouble? I didn't even think about that. Like, this whole time, we've been dealing with objects. But what if... You know what is in here? Looming in the shadows... Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm talking about. Death Stranding 2. 
I'm so glad they didn't talk about that shit at the fucking Game Awards. I thought they were going to talk about it, but they didn't. We're gonna run into some Tommy Burger. <laughs> you know that wouldn't even be that bad. It's still good. You know what though? All joking aside, if you eat King Taco, if you eat King Taco, the next day, that shit smells just as good as it did the day before. I'm not even kidding you, man. Every time I eat King Taco, the next day, I think, man, I could go for some King Taco. It's like you're right back into the kitchen, dude. Hey, careful with those long-ass paragraphs, you dumb bitch. Just because that one of my New Year's resolutions is being nicer doesn't mean I want to read a book report when I look in the chat, all right? This is some serious business I'm dealing with. If you want to talk to one of your little boyfriends in the chat, why don't you do that shit on a little private date, dude? We don't all need to see it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Perfect. I'm making real time now. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I didn't think I'd naturally be so skilled at this, but I guess just in general, any game, I'm pretty much gonna have a uh, advantage. Makes sense. Logically, I mean, I do do this for a living. This is a stoner dev. Definitely, I would imagine that this dev is a deviant of some sort. This is a deviant, this is deviant behavior developing an entire game about this. I would say, definitely. Hey, thanks. Coronoa. Thanks for gifting 10 subs. He definitely created a new genre. An anus type. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give him that. Uh, thanks, Real Send Card and Spiffy. Thanks, Coronoa and Marn's Leg vs. Capcom. Shelter Bird, thanks for the tier 2. Thanks, Turtles. Thanks, Tavern, God, and Subcom. And Holla, get a dollar. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope everyone has a nice, healthy colon this year. Myself included. Hold on, I gotta. Got something to dislodge here. Shit, bitch. What the fuck is that thing? I got an unidentified object over here. What is this? Ancient treasure? Is that a battery? Holy shit, that's gotta be bad for you. That's a battery. Double A. <laughs> Thank you. Wild. Uh, thanks, Big Whale. Thanks, Miso Honey. And thanks, Monsteru. Alright, got another paper clip here. Or, this isn't a paperclip, is it? What is this called? Uh... Um... What are those things called? Oh, yeah, safety pin. That's what they're called. Safety 
safety dance? Damn, men without jobs? Damn, I already came up on like five or six gold coins. This lady's ass has a lot of treasure in it. The last lady's ass had like less of a reddish hue. This one has a nice vibrant color to it. Yeah, yeah, if you're just tuning in, there's nails because the lady has one of those weird, you know, like those, um, my strange addiction. She eats, um, metal. Metallic objects. So now I gotta go in there and help her out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-oh. We got lodged corn? What are you supposed to do? Oh, maybe I'll grab it. This corn's fucking lodged. There we go. Damn, into the void. See a corn. Gross. All right, we gotta go deeper. That would be crazy if you could make popcorn with your laser. <laughs> I believed you. Someone said if you if you shoot the corn with the laser, it'll pop. But it didn't work. Too much moisture. Uh-oh. You got a funny angle here. Okay, we're good. Gotcha. You can't move when you move backwards, it's way slower. Moving forward is way, way faster. I wonder if there are any advanced movement techniques in this game. Too bad there's no like training mode. You gotta train on the job. Yeah, you know, different techniques. We're almost there, at least to the end of this rectal phase. Yes. Gotcha. How do you get so many different instruments into the asshole? They're all attached to the camera? You think? Uh-oh, we got we got a fucking little troublemaker here, huh? Don't make me get the pinchers. That's right, beat it. All of the different tools are attached to the scope. Whoa. Cool. I wonder what they used before they even invented that. Probably just dicks or something, right? God, what's the problem? 
I'm just burning this bitch's ass. Okay, okay, I got it. That section got a nice sear on it. <laughs> hey, fucking corn, dude. Eat it, bitch. Man, corn's always causing trouble. Thank you. Thanks, Fusion Recovery. In Renzolo and Kruger, Big Whale, Yogurt, and, and, uh, I don't know, man. Thanks, everyone. All right, nice. Do you think every asshole has three stages? It must, unless there's more. We got a left turn coming up. <laughs> what happens if we get to a fork in the road? I won't know what to do. Gross. <laughs> Thank you. There's three levels in everyone's butthole. Is that true? I'm not an expert. I only know about the last level. So much treasure. I know, man, we're rich. Oh, shit. Open lesions? What is that? Hold on. I got work to do in here. Oh, my God. Is that a razor blade? Lady. Lady. What the fuck? Scan it? Uh... Okay. Cool. I already knew it was a, a razor blade, but good thing I scanned it. Nice to know. Scan? Scanny. Scanny. <laughs> Scanny. Okay, I, I guess I'll scanny this shit too. A piece of barbed wire. All right. This isn't, like, have you ever seen that show, Strange Addiction? It's not that weird. I saw this one where there was this fat girl who was eating the couch, and then, like, her mom got mad at her because she ate her own bed, and then when her mom was gone, she would sneak in and eat, the, eat her mom's bed. And then her mom would come home and be like, someone ate my bed. I'm not even kidding you. She would like break open the bed and eat the stuff on the inside. And the doctor was like, this bitch is crazy. Yeah. She ate the bed. Her mom got mad. Nah, she didn't want to eat food. She wanted to eat beds. <laughs> Dude, people are like, look, <coughs> if you think that you have mental issues just because you play Nikkei and stuff trust me there are people out there who are even worse than you I mean real mental issues 
It gets weird. Hey. Happy New Year. Damn, I, I should pick up the pace. I don't want to, uh... There's open wounds over there, dude. We got open wounds. Okay, here we go. Damn, dude! Happy New Year, man. What on earth? Thanks for the crazy donation. Chaiwanese Amigu. <laughs> Thank you. That's hardcore generosity, dude. Thanks. Happy New Year. Thanks, man. Hope you're getting lucky. Thank you. That guy loves colons. Who doesn't? Did you see how many gold coins I got out of this colon? Just one colon, dude? I'm, I'm fucking magic finding in here, dude. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Wrecked him, sucked him. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. Get real. You're not making any sense. Ah, I gotta pick up the pace, dude. I've been in here too long. I'm getting hungry. Yes. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Runaway Hairline. Thanks, Savage Squid. And big thanks again, Chawanese Amigu. Really nice of you. There's gonna be blood. There will be blood. That was such a weird movie, right? It was like a great movie, but at the end of it, when you think about it, the movie wasn't even really that good. It was just 100% Daniel Day-Lewis being a bad motherfucker the whole time. It was like a, like a acting show-off benchmark to show off how dope Daniel Day-Lewis is. The whole movie was just about him being awesome. It was not that sick of a movie, if you think about it. Though I did like the Riddler. That was like the Riddler's first big movie, wasn't it? The newest Riddler. Coen Brothers, why lol? Those guys are pretty good, right? Do they still make movies? The Coen Brothers, didn't they make The Big Lebowski? That's a great movie. And a bunch of other good movies, too, like Fargo. Hey, thanks, Grant. Grant, um, whatever, thanks. And uh, wrecked him, sucked him. Whose asshole is this? It's just this lady that likes to eat a bunch of metal. I forgot her name, but whatever. I don't need to know her name. I just need to know her asshole's name. I am a proctologist or a gastroenterologist. Uh, an ass man. The game said that I'm the Michael Jordan of gastroenterology. Highly respected among my peers. This lady ate a piece of a barbed wire fence here. Ah, gotta clear that shit out. Can't see. Out of the way, bitch. Yes. Alright. Let me spray this puppy. Jesus, what is that, dude? Man, this is like one of the most active assholes I've seen yet. There's all kinds of shit in here. Long day in the office.
Oh my god. Alright, alright. Where's my sprayer? Okay. Man. May Umbasa bless the people who do this shit in real life. Hey, thanks. Uh, thanks, Stan, for Botan. I think I missed my calling. I can't handle okay, medical right shit. I mean, I could handle it in terms of it being gross, but I think you have to have the right type of mind. I would imagine that like, well, in my experience, when people get into a certain type of specific field, like medical specifically, it's because someone in their family suffers from it and they usually have a close connection to it. So like, you know, I know some, I know someone who has like a relative who has like a issue. I don't remember what it is, something mental though. And so she is now a doctor, like trying to research this issue. Whatever it is, you know, heiress fan syndrome or whatever. So I think that's probably really common. Like the people who become gastroenterologists probably lost their, some relative to some ass related shit. So they want to help, you know, that's my guess. You're a tiny dick doctor. <laughs> what do you do with them? <laughs> Fucking... Put them in your uh, mouth <laughs> or rear. Tiny dick doctor. He sucks him with his ass. That was funny. The guy's name was I suck dicks with my ass. <laughs> Nice name, dude. Dude, DJ Bustanut got banned from Twitch for having the name DJ Bustanut. But this guy's name was I Suck Dicks With My Ass. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Come on in. Right this way. I mean, what are you doing? My friend got up. Don't tell me how to drive. Nice. Get this out on a tray. <laughs> with my ass. Uh, thanks. Thanks, tiny dick shaped ass and dynamite and your boy Hector. And thanks, old smuggler. Thanks, guys. Happy New Year. Hope you guys are getting lucky out there. Eris has somehow avoided the Twitch cops. What do you mean? What do I do that has anything to do with getting in trouble? In fact, that's actually the opposite. I've been told directly from my Twitch cop that I'm a perfect citizen as far as Twitch is concerned, literally. Because I asked about that, like, hey, am I like one of those dudes that you guys have up on the wall where I need to be careful and shit? And he was like, no way, man. You know why? Because I don't cause any fucking trouble. You know? I just fucking mind my own business and I don't get involved in all the trouble that everyone else gets involved in. Sure, I make a few dick-sucking jokes now and then, but so? They don't hurt anyone. Let me wash this corn out of here. I'm not on Twitch's Most Wanted. Quite the opposite. In fact, they never fuck with me. 
which is awesome. That's the way I want it. I told my guy, like, dude, listen, I don't want to see you because if I don't see you, that means I'm doing everything right. <laughs> so don't talk to me unless I'm in trouble. You know? Oh, there's another battery. Is that a shotgun shell? <laughs> oh, shit. Holy shit, dude. Live ammunition? Let me scan this. Must be removed very carefully. Dude, what happens if I zap it? What what happens now? I didn't think you think you realized your mistake instantly. To stop the bleeding and de but the damage was too extensive. <laughs> An you. investigation into her death was opened and you plan to cooperate fully. Every time you think about what happened, you vomit. Oops. I unlocked a, a achievement called Oops. I accidentally lasered a sh live shotgun shell inside a woman's ass and it exploded. Just another Tuesday in the office. Hidden cargo. She died, but I mean, I mean what are you, you know, it happens. Just watched Demolition Man for the first time. Great movie. You liked it? I thought it was all right. I thought it was all right. Not great. It, I loved it when I was a kid, but when I rewatched it, oh. Everything I eat comes from the sea. Weird. Are you reading this? He said he's a fisherman and he only eats things from the ocean. And lately, no matter what he eats, he still feels hungry. And he's losing a lot of weight. Are you eating fish straight from the sea without cooking it? Yes. Various species of parasites. They can grow and reproduce. I do get a weird feeling in my gut sometimes. I feel things twitching and moving. Yeah, excuse me. There's only one way to find out. Let me see your asshole. Uh, thanks, Pokey Money, and thanks, Mike Adriano, and thanks, mm, Full Metal Misery and Kirby. Thanks again, Full Metal Misery. Thanks, Tiny Dick Shaped Ass. Speaking of, let's make sure we know where we came from. Okay, that's the entrance. I'm going in. This is a fisherman's asshole. 
I suspect that he's eaten some parasites. What is this? What is that? Is that caca? This might be the first caca. <laughs> Thank you. Let me scan it. I blew up the last lady's ass. Ugh. It appears to be a piece of excrement. But not from a human? Interesting. Uh, damn, so this guy's been shitting out some other kind of shit. That's a polyp. I seen a polyp. All you gotta do is chainsaw that shit off. Then you gotta cauterize the wound. Then you gotta wash away the random fleshy little leftovers. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks, coffee table. I didn't get to the boss of the last stage because I found a shotgun shell and I couldn't resist but shooting my laser at it and then it exploded and the lady died. They're doing an investigation on me. Is this a polyp? I think this is actually a calcium. No? Maybe it is a polyp. It's a polyp, my bad. Oh, damn. Damn, lady. Alright. Alright, we got more of that weird, mysterious shit. It's not human. This guy has not human shit in his ass. So either he's eating some weird shit... And then it's just coming out of his ass. Or there is something in here that's shitting. There's only one of two things that can be the possible outcome. That looks like calcium. Yep. Just as my expert eye suspected. Uh oh. Fucking lodged? Uh oh. Grab that shit. It's ungrabbable? There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. These are the little pieces of caca. They aren't human. Dude, what the fuck, dude? This guy's asshole has these weird ass pockets. Damn it. Shit keeps getting lodged. Beat it. All right, I got it. Oh. Yeah, excuse me. Perfect execution. Am I on level 3? I think I'm about to get to level 3. This is level 2. Of this guy's ass. I'm not sure how many levels everyone's ass has. What the hell is this? This is mysterious activity. Uh, This is mysterious activity. First let me wash away this caca. Now let me scan this shit. See what we're dealing with. Some kind of unidentified aquatic blood-sucking tick. Q. 
Kill it. Kill it. With a laser? Oh, shit. I gotta cauterize. Oops. Perfect execution. Can I kill it with this? You can kill it with the laser or the saw. Nice. You could grab them? Okay, I'll try. On the next one. Looks like there's a lot of them. I haven't even seen a single boss yet, have I? <laughs> Thank you. Alright, let me try and grab one. You can't! You can't. You gotta kill him so they let go. Damn, he's going top speed now! Bitch. It's best to probably kill them with the laser. So you could just cauterize and go, you know? Oh, gross. If you kill them with the laser, then you're already using the thing that's going to cauterize the wound underneath. They don't call me the Michael Jordan of proctology for nothing. I blew up the last lady's ass though. I was in the lab. It happens, I know. For me, it was only a Tuesday. Dude, that's a lot of fucking shit I need to do in here. God damn it, fucking miscellaneous ass objects. Okay. Damn, all in one go. You see that? You see what I'm telling you? I'm an expert at this kind of shit. Efficient. Very nice. Alright, let me wash some of this stuff out of here. Definitely the dev of this game is a deviant, without question. Dude, all these little pieces of dead insect are getting stuck. Come on! Bitch. This guy's asshole has a lot of obstacles compared to the ladies. That lady's asshole was smooth. Where's Waldo? Metamusa. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks, Dekaka. And thanks, Glorf Man and Legend of Jevons. Damn, dude, look at all this stuff. I'm not even letting go. Just burning the ass. Okay, let me wash this shit out. Break time, colon, MD. <clears throat> uh, is it already break time? Are you sure? 
I mean, I'm barely on this guy's asshole's second stage, right? Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Thank you. What you mean, baby girl? <laughs> what you mean, baby girl? Baby girl. Uh oh. The angle's no good on this one. I gotta reposition. What are you guys eating? Man, you know, like, it's human nature to be to become, like, desensitized. I bet you real colon doctors probably could just eat a sandwich, no problem. They'd be like, murder at the hood track, eating hood tacos. Mmm, 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 mmm so good you know what I mean like nothing it's just like when you go into a restroom and when you first walk in it smells terrible but when you're walking out it smells totally normal I hate that don't you hate that you know it still smells in there but your nose got used to it that's the worst that's human nature you know, people who live in, like, uh, who people who work in garbage, like the trash industry, they say that they don't even smell it anymore. That's crazy. It's probably the reason why you don't realize you smell like shit. You know? You don't realize it because your nose fucking conceited and got used to the fact that you stink like shit every day. So then you don't even realize you smell like shit. And then you just go to a tournament. Uh, shoot this guy. <laughs> Thank you. Where's my laser? There we go. Okay. The last lady ate a shotgun shell. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't shoot it with the laser and her ass didn't explode. And I wonder if I'm going to get in trouble for that. It said they're doing an investigation. I mean, they're gonna be like, I'll just tell them there was a shotgun shell in there, your honor. I didn't, I, I, how am I supposed to know that it's a live explosion? My bad, he'll probably be cool. It's a standard like hazard of the job. I'm lucky I didn't get hurt. I should take her to court. For lack of a better word, I must say, this game's pretty tight. <laughs> it's relaxing, you know? Nice, nice ambient feel to it. <laughs> thank you. I like it. Uh, thanks, Larry Lizard, and Sound Reaver, and Dot Com, and thanks, Classic Decoy, and Kerberos. <laughs> I'm almost at the end of this stage. You missed the tick. Oh, thanks. I could go back. Thought he'd live, huh? Thank you. 
Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, the gameplay is smooth. Responsive controls. Intuitive game design. Minimal HUD. It's immersive. You know? I can fully get into it. I'm immersed. Perfect. Nice. Nice. All right. Just one more piece of caca. I didn't miss anything, right? Thanks for the heads up. Okay, we got a left turn. This is phase three. Better than Call of Duty. It's similar. It's kind of like a Royale, Battle Royale. <laughs> They're adding PvP in a future update, I heard. This is phase three. Boss stage? I don't know. We'll see. What is that? Is that just more alien caca? It looks a little different. Yeah, it's the same stuff. Oh, shit! New enemies! This guy's got all kinds of problems. Alright, let's see if I can scan this. See what we're dealing with. Parasitic blood-sucking worm. Best to remove it before it can breed. You think I yank? Let's try yanking. Nice! Oh shit. Okay. Do you think you, like, kill it? Try tasing it so you don't have to swap. Good idea. That's what I did with the last guy. Hey, that's probably a good idea. That idea sucks, dude. They don't call me the fucking Jordan of assholes for nothing. You gotta yank those motherfuckers out. I'm gonna do a full yanking session. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a cauterizing session. And then I'm gonna wash this burger down. I literally just got back from a prostate exam and you're playing this. You should be very careful what you say. And before you say it, you should consider if anyone gives a fuck. Alright? Uh, anyway, thanks. You should be very, very careful what you say around here. If you're gonna choose to say more than you're my favorite streamer smile, it better be fucking funny. Or it better be more than 420, bitch. Anyway, thanks. Happy New Year. I think anyone in here would gladly pay you more than 420 to never talk again. Thanks. Ah. McDonald's worms. McDonald's worms? <laughs> cool. I'm not familiar with McDonald's no, I worms. Never liked you, Rip. Oh yeah, break time. Hold on. Let me wash away these dead alien worms.
There's one more, right? Or maybe two more. Let me know if I miss a worm. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get up and stretch. Man, this game's addictive. I'm telling you, the city needs me, man. This is an important job. It needs to be done. Thanks, Backdoor Milkman. Thanks, I'm Terrified and Dog Zemo. Lawrence, Lizard Son, Benny Hine. Thanks, Relaxo. Hey, thanks, Kulo of Duty. And thanks, Larry Lizard and Sound Reaver and Dot Com. Thanks. I appreciate that those of you who try and make a joke, usually your joke is contained entirely in your name. You know? Your name is the joke. Instead of this dumbass, I literally just got back from a prostate exam. You see that guy? He's fucking up. His name should have been prostate exam. Now that would have been better. Remember the guy's name who was I suck dicks with my ass? That the, the joke must be contained within the name. Joke contained in the name. Not the message. You're never going to get a laugh if you put a joke in the message. Unless it's funny, which you are not capable of. It's break time, Shalashaska. Let me get up and stretch. Perfect. Alright, I got work to do. You got to yank these motherfuckers out. You can't even laser them. They're laser proof. They have an exterior shell. Where's my yanker? There we go. You could do a yanking sesh. And then a cauterizing sesh. You can't laser these out. You have to fucking yank them out. I'm a little bitch. What do you think that is? I think that's actually a polyp. Yeah. That's my my expertise in the field. No need to scan. What's the problem? Weird game. Why? What are you eating lunch? I don't see anything weird about this game. If anything, this game is far less weird than Nikkei. And you play that shit all the time. If anything... I think you should be looking in the mirror, doing a little mirror match. Ah, bitch. Get out of there, you little motherfucker. Okay, get a couple more before I wash. Wash that burger down. Ah. That shit, bitch. Not you. God damn it! You gotta pile up. Traffic jam. Okay. Do some washing. Damn! This guy's got all kind of worm activity. Oh, this one's already. They still move when they're rem These are both removed? Bitch. I forgot that I already removed them. You want to play this in VR? I think it's probably going to be out in the future. What is that? I should, like, scan that. I'm not familiar with this. Hold on. Let me cauterize first. I don't know what that object is. See what we're dealing with here. Bro. It makes fax machine noises. Sharp piece of fish bone. Okay. The way they squeal. The sound design. I wonder how many games of the year this is going to win next year. Seems like it's right up Jeff Keighley's alley. The kind of thing he could really sink his teeth into. Man, that guy sent me an email. <laughs> Damn it. I hate that that happened. 
because I'm constantly talking about how he sexually pleases Kojima. And I didn't think that that would happen. He didn't sound pissed though. He sounded pretty nice. Just didn't expect it. But it's weird knowing that I'm on his radar. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? This is like the second world stone in Demon Souls. <laughs> oh, man. This is rough. Dangerous. This is a boss fight? Damn, we're gonna get to the... Uh, what's that dragon called? The big one? Dragon God. The Dragon God's in here? I gotta spray these things, don't forget. I have not dealt with this shit yet. What is this? Hold on, let me get, let me clear the way and then we'll check out these weird new objects. scan this weird ass thing can you just lift it up or is it attached it's attached hold on let me spray out this alien feces now get the scanner to decide how to deal with this thing egg sack full of larva What do you gotta do to it? Maybe you. you think I gotta saw it? Okay, nice. Perfect. Let me wash all this shit away. Man, this guy's gonna feel way better when I'm done. That's probably what real ass men think, right? I would. You're like a, you're saving someone's life, dude. Pretty crazy if you think about it. This is like barely even a joke. I don't think anything that, that has occurred so far in this game is beyond reality, right? Like nothing that's happened in this game except for the me shooting the shotgun shell and it exploding. But the shotgun shell itself? Do you really think no one's ever eaten that? Or put it in his ass? For sure. I doubt there is even an object in existence that has not been in someone's ass. I believe it. There's probably a shotgun shell up someone's ass in chat right now. There's probably all kinds of miscellaneous shit in your asses as we speak. And I don't doubt that. Gross. Hey, just make sure you don't hurt yourself, you know? Perfect. 
I like the execution requirement. It's steep. You know? You can't just be a regular noob. I wonder if this game is rated M. Perfect. I forgot how much I paid for this. Whatever it was, it was worth every penny. Let's like uh, look beyond how absurd it is. If you really just break it down, right? I've never played or heard of a game anything like this. And how often is it that someone makes a game that is fresh and new in its concept and design? I've never heard of anything like this. I mean, sure, one could say that this game did take inspiration from Diablo 4. That's true. But... Still, its execution of the concept of Diablo 4 is quite impressive. The way they presented the world of Sanctuary and their take on the whole item, <laughs> item acquisition process, you know? I'm impressed. The loot's better in this game, for sure. I also really really like the way the stats are. There's no annoying dead situational stats. See that? Efficient. <laughs> Thank you. Got to back it up a bit. It's a lot like space exploration, if you think about it. The zero gravity. And like, no one's ever been there before. Remember Junior used to call that one Tekken player? He played Oscar. He used to call him the first Indian in space. What the fuck was that about, dude? It was so funny. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? He was this Indian guy from India. And he used to call him the first Indian in space. Junior used to be funny when he, before he had a kid, but I heard he's not funny anymore. Who knows, though? Yeah, Indian from India. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, that's a polyp. Did I wash? Looks good. Careful with those capital letters, you dumb fucking bitch. And Happy New Year. Blue names, I know. There must be somewhere where people are like thinking and learning where, oh, capital letters are a great idea and I'm allowed to write entire sentences with them. Where do you think they're picking this shit up, dude? They're learning it somewhere. As far as I'm concerned, that is behavior that is grounds for something. Grounds for dismissal. You just sound like a bitch when you do that shit. You know, you sound like you need attention. It makes me feel bad for your parents. But then again, they should be fucking arrested for creating you. 
There should be a fucking investigation done on their asses. They probably took you to Tommy Burger when you were a kid. Tommy, baby. Hey, thanks. Happy New Year. Thanks, Madik. Too hard. Appreciate it. Damn, the range on my spray is pretty nice. You think there's a skill tree? And if so, what kind of upgrade paths should I take? That's probably why I couldn't make popcorn out of the corn that I found in here, remember? I couldn't make popcorn out of the corn by shooting it with my laser, but probably because the laser hasn't been upgraded, I gotta follow the laser path on the skill tree. That's my guess. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Did I miss anything? Hey, let me know if I missed something. I'm busy. <laughs> Thank you. Did I miss anything? Looks clear. Yeah, I accidentally killed the last lady, but it's because I found a shotgun shell inside her ass, and I wanted to see what would happen if I shot it with the laser. Turns out it exploded. Police are doing an investigation. That was yesterday, which was Tuesday. The intro to the game said that this is my last week, but I don't know it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you. <laughs> What's the crocodile hunter's favorite drink? Uh, hey, thanks, alligator. And thanks, withering ember. And DKC returns. Thanks, grim baldy. And grows lamb. And thanks, Madik. <clears throat> you know, um, I've been one of my New Year's resolutions is to try and be nicer to people who are obnoxious, cocksucking bitches in the chat. So I'm gonna start doing that right now with that last guy. Uh, hey, thanks, amigo. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, chubby. chat hasn't made that fucking uh, New Year's resolution though, so I'm sure they'll pick up where I left off and call you a worthless bitch. You guys handle it for me. I'm on phase three of this guy's asshole. Thanks, Alami. Uh, and thanks, Cubby and Vinestone. Mama Mia! Hey, thanks. This game stinks. Thanks, obnoxious cock-sucking bitch. Nice name. Appreciate it. All right, phase three. This is the boss stage? Is that corn? Don't worry, I've dealt with corn in the past. Corn rearing its ugly head. I'm making good time.
nice. Speed. Maybe they'll let me speed run this at AGDQ. Holy shit. It is like the second world stone. These guys drop titanite shards. You motherfuckers. Let's scan them. Scan? Scanny. Aquatic blood blood sucking louse. Uh okay. Look, time out, I gotta sneeze. Time out, sneeze break. Just a sec. Poof much better. I didn't sneeze, but I blew out my jam. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do to remove these things. Thanks, Dimensional. Uh, let's see if I'm supposed to uh, laser them. That looks like armor. Oh, you don't like that shit, do you, bitch? Oh, gross. I'm gonna have to wash all this fucking weird shit everywhere down the tube, right? Coming down the pipe. They always say that shit about new games. This game's coming down the pipe. Coming out the pipe. Tekken 8's coming down the pipe. You gotta saw this thing. <laughs> Thank you. Laser. Oop. <laughs> Dude, so this guy, he's been eating all this food, but keeps losing weight. And it's because these things in here have been, like, fucking eating all the food that he's eating. And when he shits, he's not shitting out his own shit, dude. He's shitting out this alien shit. Like, these things are shitting, and that's what he's shitting out. wonder if this shit's based on a true story. Seems like it's plausible. All right, I'm gonna need to saw these guys. Nice. Yes, now spray. The old saw and spray. Where's the spray? Oop, wrong button. I hope I didn't miss any debris. Bitch. Eat it. Looks clear. We got a new object. Fish hooks? He's a fisherman. Oh, damn. Is that fish? What the fuck? Oh, wait. Wait, come back. I should have scanned it. 
Hey, come back! Oh, I can't reach it! Oh, I forgot to scan it. Damn it. Yeah, it's a strand type game. Or some kind of type. Definitely has, it's reminiscent of Kojina's other works. Should I scan this hook? I should have scanned that weird crying fish. Terrifying and dangerous object. It's gonna cause bleeding, but <laughs> Thank you. I know what to do. Yeah! Okay. Damn, man, this guy's asshole has been through it. <laughs> God. Okay, got another one. What are you guys eating? I have pasta in the fridge. I'm going to have some later. <sighs> tuna sandwich? I never liked tuna. Tuna fish? Never was into it. Speaking of, I'll scan these guys. Damn, it's a funny angle. Nice. Now let me scan. What about the crying? Not gonna say nothing about the crying? Weird. <laughs> Weird. Are those kids, are those babies getting flushed out the ass or what, dude? Did they get stuck? Oh, they, they just took their sweet time. It's the story of how some of you were born. Beautiful story. Out of the way, bitch. As fast as I am at this, it's still, you really gotta take your time. This shit's not a joke, you know? It takes precision and focus. is clear. Ah, oh, the 
angle's no good. Got it. I like how the laser shoots sparks when you hit the metal. Nice attention to detail, devs. I'm impressed. And the physics. When you... When something is stuck to the... What the fuck is that? A clam? Oh, shit! Wait a minute. It could be a trap. Better scan. Ass treasure. A perfect pearl. Yoink. Hey! Yoink! I can't get it. What do you think I should do? Like, you gotta laser it or cut it? I don't wanna damage it. Uh, maybe you gotta laser it out. Thanks. This stream got me feeling. Oh, you just flush it? Oh, you flush it. There it goes. Easy money. Thanks, DJ whatever. And Jesus. And thanks, Exceder and Real Tier. Dimensional Dot. Thanks. Oh, I beat the stage? That was the boss. Load screen. I wonder what happened to the guy. You have never seen a parasite infestation as bad as this. Yuck. Why would you put that on your desk? Your wife cooks you spaghetti, but you cannot eat it without retching? Weird. Tomorrow's gonna be worse. probably tell by my appearance that I enjoy eating food. Write about food and restaurants. My favorite type of food is barbecue. Ouch. can hear it there's something in my mind demanding more food damn eerily familiar feels uh extra spooky this game really hits at home We should get started immediately, fatso. Let me see that butthole. <laughs> thanks, Arathon. And thanks, Shoho for show. And DJ. And thanks, Ninja. 
All right, we're going in. Huh, this guy's asshole is smoother than the last guy's. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Don't forget. You always <laughs> got to check the entrance. Yeah, excuse me. Okay, we're good to go. Going in. Every butthole is unique. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. This developer clearly has some um, deviant development methods. Unorthodox. Now the asshole's getting. You know, I never liked you, Rip. Whoa! I think I might be tripping. I think I've seen one too many assholes in my career, and I'm losing my mind. Thanks, Lucinda and Salty. What did it say? I didn't read it. What the hell? It's stuck. Maybe I gotta shoot it. It said remove it and have it analyzed. How do you remove it and have it analyzed? It explodes. Well, I better just blow them up then. Laser the base? What base? Here? Dude, I'm just searing the inside of his asshole like a ribeye. I'm not interested in searing that shit. It already smells gross in here. I don't want it to start smelling good. Oh, flush them? That doesn't work. Oh, you gotta go to their rear? You think? They have no rear. You don't need to flush eye juice, it disappears. You obviously aren't the Michael Jordan of proctology. Hmm. Are those teeth? Growing from within the wall of the colon. Not a dentist. You think they'd need to call a dentist? Damn, could you imagine being a dentist and they call you in for this? Dude, I'm a dentist, but hell no. An ass dentist? <laughs> We're gonna have to fly one in. Couple more. Hmm. 
You ever see those fish with human eyes and teeth? I have. I'm actually a pretty big fan of nature and stuff like that. I don't mean like going outside, especially camping, fuck that. But I mean like, you know, animals and science. I like those types of things. <clears throat> birds are sick. What about those birds that break dance? That like do pop locking? Have you seen those birds? They're like the coolest fucking birds I've ever seen. They do like crazy pop locking moves as like a way to show the ladies how dope they are. Pretty much like humans. Those are really cool birds. Those are called birds of paradise? I thought a bird of paradise was a flower or something. Yeah, I've seen videos like that too, where like someone's in a tent and there's a bear outside sniffing around the tent. And they make noise to like scare the bear away. Cause I guess bears are spooked. You could spook a bear by like getting, you know, aggressive with it. That's a myth, but I mean, I've seen videos. I've seen videos, so what are those videos all doctored, AI generated? Like the moon landing? Could be true, you could be right. Thanks, Griggs T. Man, you really gotta execute. Didn't I pull that out? Where's the thing that I pulled out? Is that it? It's all the way over there. I can't believe it's break time. I don't believe you. If it's break time and this game costs five bucks, this game, for lack of a better word, is tight. You game devs out there, especially the guys who made Diablo 4, ought to be fucking ashamed of yourselves that this game pretty much made, this is like a remake of Diablo 4, but 10 times better. I can't. I would be, you D4 devs should have your tails between your legs. This $5 experience emulates Diablo 4 so much better than D4 could have. Amazing. Actually break time? Hold on, I'm about to get to the, the next phase. Oh boy. You know this bleeding asshole is not gonna fucking cauterize itself. What is this, a tooth? These ones are still attached. Gross. Damn, he's good. 
Is that it? Uh-oh, we got something around the corner where fudge is made. You know, I've been saying that for years. Around the corner where fudge is made. This is the first time it actually uh, is appropriate. You came in here thinking I'm playing Street Fighter V? I guess it's an honest mistake. Got the title wrong. Pretty close. Yep. Hard to differentiate. I'm getting pretty quick. I mean, I've been just clearing this guy's ass of teeth and eyeballs, but we haven't really gotten to the conclusion on why this guy's got teeth and eyeballs growing out of his ass. I guess we'll find out. He's a cannibal? That doesn't explain how they're growing out of his asshole, though. See what I mean? Someone just got shot. Hey, get shot. Thanks, palm trees. And oral butt hygienist. This is phase three. The boss room. What the hell? Dude! Game of the ear! I better take a break before we deal with this. I better take a quick little break before I deal with this. This guy's got ears. He's listening. All right. Turn the sound on. Whoa. Jesus. Okay, I'm in this guy's asshole. He's a food critic and his stomach hurts. The first thing I found is eyeballs that are actually looking around and attached. Then I found teeth growing out of his asshole. And now I found ears. And I'm getting buzzed. Whoa. Cool. Cool. Um... Oh yeah, scan him. <laughs> Thank you. Remove it. That's what it said about the eyes, but I couldn't remove them to be analyzed. What do I do? It said remove the eyes, but I couldn't remove them. I had to, like, destroy them. Use the cutter. They just explode! And now he's bleeding. Analyze the chunks. Oops. Whoa. Whoa. The corn used to have zero gravity. Did you notice that? When I was holding corn and I would release it into space, anal space, it would have zero gravity and exit. There's more eyeballs. What am I supposed to do about these ears? They just explode. Come on, you bitch. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna cook the ear. You don't wanna cook it. 
Well, look, man, I can't figure out how to have it analyzed, so I'm just gonna fucking destroy it. Damn. <laughs> it's getting intense in this, in this ass. there's a difference between prioritizing the bleeding or the washing maybe you can unlock the secret alternate ending I killed one girl though remember I probably that probably did not help earlier if you just got here I was going in that ass there was some lady who had the she had a eating disorder she was eating metal and so there was nails and stuff and everything was going fine until I found a live shotgun shell it was the chat's idea to shoot it with my laser anyway it exploded and <laughs> uh all right well let me scan this thank you let me see what's going on here Uh, break it off. Break it off. Do I break it off with the grabber? Yeah. One of them went through the, the, the earth. One of them fell through the colon wall. I doubt that was intentional. Good shit, Dev. That better not fuck my perfect score up. Recently, I've switched to prioritizing washing. Grab it. Through the colon wall? Shut up, bitch. And Happy New Year. Music's stressing me out. Is that corn? It's gold? Texas tea? Black gold? <laughs> From the ground came a bubbling crude. <laughs> Oh, that is. Cool show. Damn, man, that shit explodes behind you, so I gotta back up to wash. making good time the fingers are actually pretty easy to deal with because it's like a big target they don't make any mess 
The other things like explode into a million pieces and shit. You just like quickly just switch to the spray, spray them out of the way, laser the wound, and you move on to the next finger. I can see how a noob would struggle though. But I'm an expert. weird how when you scan these fingers and eyeballs it doesn't seem alarming at all it feels like maybe I'm losing my mind and this is a nightmare because like think about it if you were a proctologist anal doctor what kind of nightmares would you have probably nightmares like this right where you're going through that ass but instead of there being regular ass related shit damn this music's loud uh, there will be weird things like this. Should I turn it down? So you can hear my ass commentary? Yes. Make sure you let me know if I missed one. teeth I'm getting pretty good I'm gonna submit this shit for AGDQ. I gotta find out who's gonna do couch commentary with me though. Cause I won't be able to do it myself, I'll need to focus. Oh, I heard Rip needs a job. Maybe I'll get Rip. That's a good idea. Speaking of, when are the when is the Tekken 7 World Finals? It's in New Orleans this time. Oops, <laughs> my bad. It's next week? What day? January 12th? That's not next week, is it? No. Or I guess, kind of. January 12th? next Friday oh it's already this week so not this Friday but next Friday got it cool I made it to the next stage there's a sharp right turn hairpin right very long easy left <laughs> thank you The anus boss. <laughs> 
inhuman tooth. Okay. Kind of like the music. Maybe I'll add this to the list. Ass music. Cool. Man, I'm having a good day. Maybe you guys were onto something when you said that my true calling was as a uh, ass doctor. I could do this every day. <laughs> Startled me. I thought something was going to do something. I missed a tooth? Where? Oh shit. Almost missed one. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, got it. This is like a Sarlacc pit. That's the guy who killed Boba Fett. I hate Sarlacc pits. I hate Sarlacc pits, helicopters, and stingrays. Stingrays. Grab that shit. The way the music ends and has a perfect loop, it's so spooky. <laughs> The only good Stingray is a Corvette? Agreed. And even that, you want a Z06. I've been focused. This is the first really psychedelic level. The only other weird things that have happened is that this fisherman was eating raw fish and I found fish in his asshole, but they were crying like babies. Don't know what that was about. Watching these moves right now? The smoothness of my switching? Oops. Perfect. 
Okay. What stage am I on? This is the fat guy. Remember the fat guy? He had fingers in his ass? This is stage two. Oh. What the fuck, dude? It appears to be a small version of our patient's head. He said he has something in his head or some shit, right? What do you think I should do with it? Laser it? This game's tight, dude. Oh shit! Right back where we started? This guy has two buttholes? And they go in a U shape like LAX airport? What the hell? <laughs> Stood up straight with a big smile. Thank you profusely. Oh, I went home early. You're glad tomorrow is Friday. What day did I start on? Monday, right? It's Big Friday. The blockage. I have something stuck. Ugh. We won't know until we take a look, amigo. Do you chew your food sufficiently, chat? Nice stance. Are your bowel movements unusual? Perfectly normal? Smaller in size over the last week. Ugh. I think I shall lube up my instruments and dive right in. <laughs> Yeah, sure thing. Don't be a little bitch. <clears throat> I'm going in. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Boom KO. And someone nerfed this, this guy. And thanks, Jimmy of Yore. And Irish Sunglass Dispenser. Hey, thanks, Stacy. Smile, Happy New Year. Thanks, G Hunter. And re I resign. 
And anyone that I didn't thank. Oh yeah, I gotta check the entrance for treasure. Looks clear. You can look out their butthole at the start of every level. And every butthole is different. Impressive devs, right? Alright, it's Friday. This is my Friday asshole. That looks like a polyp. I know what to do with that. Cut that shit in half. Then switch over to my washing machine. And then finish with the laser. Easy money. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, computer hoofed. Everything looks pretty normal so far in here. Thankfully, what is that? Maybe I should scan it. You think that's peanut? Aha! It's a peanut. It's harmless. Uh oh, looks like we got an open lesion coming up to the left. Wonder what caused that. I'll just patch it right up. Better get deeper in there to see what's going on. Causing these open lesions. Hmm, this is a unusual. Better, better give it a little scan. A little unusual. It's a pistachio? Let's see. Piece of excrement, but not from a human. This is inhuman excrement. I've seen this once before. Uh, in a patient who had parasites from the ocean. Damn, a whole peanut? Damn, dude. Some big ass peanuts with the shell too. Straight up with the shell. All right. Corn, nothing out of the ordinary. No, you can't pop it with your laser. I've tried. Not until I upgrade the laser tree. Nice. Making good time. Okay, you know what to do here. Remember Mama your me. VR training. Huh. Hey, thanks. What is that, calcium? It looks like it. Damn, he's good. Got a little bit of washing to do here. Did I miss a chunk? I may have missed a chunk. Nope, coast is clear. Perfect. Another piece of alien feces. He's sitting on peanuts. So you think that he... <laughs> Fucking spooky, dude. <laughs> Gross! Dude, this game's pretty good. Best door. Alright, I'm going in. Stage two. <laughs> Thank you. What is that? Fang embedded. Okay. 
Grab it. Laser it. Oops. That's the water laser. Nice. Move along. Dude, I am getting way faster. I might look into proctology. That might be cool. You never know. I mean, I'm pretty much already hanging out with assholes all day in the chat. Maybe I'm a natural. <laughs> Thank you. Know what I mean? This guy has whole peanuts with the shell. <laughs> Thank you. I must really like that shit. That's how you're supposed to eat them? Shut up, bitch. The coast is clear. <gasps> ah! <gasps> what the fuck? He took a bite out of the inside of this guy's asshole and then left. Jesus. Spooky game. But doesn't matter if I'm scared or not. I have to continue my mission. This guy's sweet ass. Depends on it. I better equip my laser just in case. Nope. The music ending is making me feel uneasy. I've never been afraid of clowns. Seems like it's a very common phobia, but never found them to be spooky. In fact, I never even thought that scary movies that use clowns as the... I'm scared. Nice song. Bitch. Those are his his teeth. So that's the guy that's been Oh wait a minute, this guy works at a circus. Remember the peanuts? So how do how do you explain that though? <laughs> Thank you. Scan the clown. I I always equip my laser, but I guess I could scan the clown. Okay, I'll try. Final boss?
Okay, bitch. Hands up. Get ready to get scanned. Hmm. A pistol. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! They're already detached. The water is flowing uphill? There is no uphill. We're in the space of an ass. Get fucked, bitch. What do you want me to do? I'm lasering him already. Okay, all right. Uh, ah! Oh! I don't know what to do about it. Scan him? Fuck you. Scan him. Appears to be a clown. Grab his nose. That didn't work. Cut his fucking eyes out! Nice! I cut his eyes out. Or one of them. Nice. I'm in hot pursuit of a clown that hangs out inside this guy's asshole. This pussy crying? <laughs> Stupid bitch. Bring me the other one. Bring me the other one, you motherfucker. Let me at it. Got him. I wonder what I'm supposed to destroy next. I gotta pull this thing out. I wonder what happens if you skip. That's also a, a potential. What if you just go through the asshole without doing anything? You know? Just telling them you did the job like some guy who works at Amco. Yeah, yeah, I changed out your transmission. See ya. I accidentally killed someone on Tuesday, but every other day of the week, no one died. Kill them. Man, this game really makes me appreciate ass doctors and just doctors of all types. They gotta do a lot of weird shit to save us regular folk. They're the real heroes. Gross.
All of them? You decided to retire? <laughs> what? Weird. That was the good ending, but I killed someone with a shotgun shell explosion. Good ass ending. Well, I gotta say, I thought that game was pretty cool. I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Didn't you? A nice, pretty much like better than the original remake of Diablo 4 and many other games released recently. I thought it was pretty good, actually. I There was no jump scares. I guess there were a couple. I expected more jump scares, but me waiting for them was kind of fun. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, I liked it. How's the end game? There are a lot of builds and a lot of possibilities in this game. Thanks, Zerozy and Kitty Cat Jammies. Thanks, Overt Moose and Can Say Kim and Squish. Callie, thanks, Species and Ultimate Strife and Bread Fan Dan. Gessler, Dr. Deep and Dare and Computer Hoofed and a few other people that perhaps I already thanked or, or missed. Thanks very much. Happy New Year, bros. Nice way to start things off. Uh, damn, you think they're gonna make a PoE League after this? <laughs> damn, that's not a bad idea. Colon League? Find some divine orbs? Uh, thanks, Mudman. Thanks for gifting 25 subs. That's very nice of you. Happy New Year. What are you eating tonight? I visited my mom, I think it was yesterday, and got pasta with green beans, marinated Italian mushrooms with olives that have pimento in them and other stuff, and uh, chicken. Oh, and potatoes. These potatoes, I don't even know what they're about. They're these little potatoes and they're fucking good and creamy and seasoned and delicious. What are you having? Damn, this spooky mu music. Music. Ooh, that was a cool one. I like that game. Hey, nice job, devs. It wasn't too over the top. Just right. I liked how it got a little psychedelic. Though the ending was a letdown. I feel like I should have... Like, I would have expected some explanation as to why I saw fingers and eyeballs inside of a butthole. But maybe I gotta wait for Death Stranding 2 to find that out. Oh, the shotgun shell explosion. Yeah, I killed her. It was still a good, uh, good ending, though. Uh, anyway... Oh yeah, you guys said the Tekken 7 Global Finals, which is going to be the last one ever for Tekken 7, good riddance, is going to be in two weeks or a week and a half, which is pretty cool. I'll watch that with you guys. That's something to look forward to. Make fun of weird Europeans trying to shake hands. <coughs> and then... Um, I can't really remember what else we're looking for forward to other than Tekken 8 and that. What else is the next hot ticket? I mean, Revenge of the Colon was great and an unexpected uh, fun game. Final Fantasy 7 and Yakuza? Maybe I ought to take the month of January off. Uh, Elden Ring DLC in February? Is that right? I didn't know that was a announcement. When's Dragon's Dogma 2? I'll play that. How soon? 
Shenmue 3 already came out, you pendejo. You're talking about part 4. Capcom Cup is in February. Cool, I'll watch that. There's no real news. I know, they're all fucking stupid bitches. They believe in rumors and then go spreading them as fact. Classic bitch-made heiress fan. Um, Pass it on. There's a fan-made Shenmue? Dude, the real Shenmue is pretty much the same as a fan-made. You know? It's not like the real one has some amazing qualities. Anyway, good shit. That was really fun. I thought I could have, like, I was ready to potentially flush that shit and just think this game fucking sucks. But it was pretty cool. At the end of the day, I think that getting the player to want to see what's around the next corner is so key. You know? Like the encouragement. And the way those fingers, too, they were like, you know, those ass fingers. It was pretty cool. I liked it. I wanted to see what was in store around the next corner. Oh, yeah, and the anus door. That was probably my favorite part of the whole game. The anus door and... Uh, I also really liked it when something was stuck to the asshole's wall and you would like pull it and it would like uh, not come out, come off the wall. I like that. That was a nice touch. Hey, decent work, devs. Decent work. Uh, for five bucks? I think I paid five bucks for that. If you're going to go for dollar to time played ratio... I mean, a lot of games don't make it out of the first hour, and they cost 70 bucks. Final Fantasy 16 is one of them. So I'm just saying. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Innovative. I like the outside the box thinking. I didn't run into any bugs. The cutscenes were interesting and not too much reading, just enough. Could use some voice acting. I think voice acting would have gone a long way. Hey, hit me up. Hey, Dev, hit me up for Revenge of the Colon 2. I can do men, women, all kinds of different hillbilly accent. I can do anything you need, man. Any kind of anus you want. I'm like uh, the guy on The Simpsons, you know? Uh, anyway, that was fun. Thanks for the good company chat room. And a few of you are really generous today, and I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks. I think that every time something like a birthday or a new year happens, it's kind of like a world record for me, or at least a personal best. And every time you make an achievement like that, and you're on stage, you gotta always thank the homies. Because you can't get shit done without them. So, thanks for liking my stream. Couldn't have done it without you. I'm going to wrap this puppy up. I'll be back tomorrow or whenever I'm back. I'll see you when I see you in the sewer. Uh, and I'll find something fun to play. <laughs>